Blackmagic Design has finally released their latest software update for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera line. After listening to their user base, this new update adds a number of key features and bug fixes to make these cameras better and more reliable. If you're a 6K Pro user, odds are you've heard of the colour tint issue circulating on the internet. Thankfully, Blackmagic Design has addressed this with the inclusion of a new screen adjustment setting found in the setup tab of the camera. Now, if you select this option, you will be presented with a tint and temperature slider. Basically, you just have to make these adjustments until the grey and white boxes are free from colour and then you're good to go. If you're using a monitor, you can make these adjustments to ensure the colour on the camera LCD and the monitor look the same. This calibrator went through a bunch of different iterations to ensure it worked as best as it could. I even tried it out a few weeks ago, but this latest iteration made it so much easier to see and calibrate, and hopefully will put 6K Pro users' minds at ease. The next key feature is the addition of the RGB histogram. This histogram allows you to see the colour values of a particular scene in real time, as you can see here as I aim out into my backyard. What is great about this compared to the old luminance histogram is that you can actually see if a particular colour channel is clipped. It is a more accurate histogram if you're trying to nail your exposure whilst retaining as much colour detail as possible. One note I must add though, you cannot switch back to the old luminance histogram. The new RGB histogram is here to stay. Elsewhere on the internet, many have talked about a LUT and setting import bug. This is now fixed. As you can see here, I can freely navigate to my LUT on my SD card and turn it on without issue. Before, it would not let you switch to an imported LUT. And the same goes for imported presets. In this latest update, you can see the full list of change notes on the screen. They have added support for time code via XLR, adjustments to pink in false color viewing mode, as well as tweak the focus peaking to better suit the lower contrasted image of Generation 5 color science. But that's not all. Specifically for the 4K and 6K models, users will now be able to record in Generation 5 color science. This is great for anyone wanting to colour match with their 6K Pro. Additionally, there is now an LCD dimming option like the Pro model. For people who rig out their cameras and do not rely on the inbuilt display, this is a great addition. The 6K model can now shoot 4K DCI B RAW crop sensor, but both the 4K and 6K cameras can now shoot in Q1 and Q3 B RAW as well. This is a pretty hefty update by Blackmagic, so it is understandable that it's taken some time to iron out some unwanted kinks and to make sure they don't accidentally introduce any more problems. It is great to see that Blackmagic listens to the user base to continue to improve our cameras. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hope to see you soon. Thanks.